gift giving season is fast approaching and it might be time to ask yourself that age old question, what are you gonna knit for your kid's teacher? I think this should always be a pretty easy question to answer, but typically it doesn't go that way because there are so many factors that we consider. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you just a few ideas to get you on your way for knitting something that your kid's teacher is actually going to want. So if that sounds like just your cup of tea, let's get cozy and dive in. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wool Needles Hands Midweek Ramble. My name is Taylor and I will be your host. I'm coming to you today with a video inspired by a suggestion over at the Wool Needles Hands tip line at woolneedleshands.com for a video that may shed some light on some additional ideas of things to knit for your kid's teacher. In fact, the actual tip goes like this. Hi Taylor, with the holidays coming up, I'm trying to get a jump on quick knit and crochet gifts. I'm thinking a hat for my son's teacher, but I'd love to branch out. I always do hats. Any ideas? Roundups, XO, star. Well, star, I appreciate this because this is something that I am also thinking about myself. Now, I am going to focus this video particularly on knitting patterns. And so everything you see here will be knitting related and no crochet patterns right now. However, I will be doing a gift knit and crochet roundup later on um, in the coming weeks. But for right now, we're just gonna focus on some ideas of things that you can knit for your child's teacher. But before I dive in to all of that, one quick announcement. There is a lot of work that goes into producing the content here at the Wool Needles Hands YouTube channel, and I am proud to say that we are now a member-supported YouTube channel, thanks to my gorgeous patrons over on Patreon. If you would like to show your support for the Wool Needles Hands channel, head over to Patreon. You can join as a member there for as little as $3 a month and receive additional bonus content and extra benefits for joining. Thank you so much for your additional support. It helps keep the lights on here at Wool Needles Hands on YouTube for the long haul. For this particular roundup today, I'm sticking to items, five to be precise, that can be knit for really anybody without having to ask the question of what size shoe you wear, what size is your head, what fa is your favorite color, do you like to wear shawls, all of these kinds of things. I'm trying to avoid having to ask that question so that you can make this a really genuine surprise for your child's teacher and really kind of eliminate something that might seem a little awkward if you don't have a very close relationship with your child's teacher. All right, I need to add something here and this is, I'm bringing this from experience, but also just a common sense. If you are going to knit something for your child's teacher, the one question you really do need to ask, depending on what you're going to use to knit the particular item, is whether or not this person has an allergy to wool. I actually asked this question of my child's hockey coach, and not even thinking that she would have a wool allergy. I just knew I needed to do it, um, do my due diligence, and so I asked her, and she's a hockey coach, spends a lot of time on the ice, so I know that if I knit, say, a hat or a pair of fingerless mitts for her, it would come in handy. But lo and behold, she has a horrible horrible wool allergy. She can't even really have it near her skin. Definitely make sure that the person you're knitting for, doesn't matter who this is, whether it's your kid's teacher or your grandma, doesn't have a wool allergy. Okay, now these items I'm sharing with you are simple because they need to fit for anybody regardless of the myriad preferences that the person may have. I kind of went at this as I'm looking for items that really anybody is probably going to appreciate at some point. So that's where I'm coming from for this. Now let's go ahead and get started. And the first one that I have for this, you might chuckle a little bit because perhaps this seems very simple, but I'm telling you, and, and I am a former teacher, I taught for almost 10 years as a fourth grade teacher in an elementary school, and I'm telling you, this first one you might think is silly, but I think it's a fantastic gift for an elementary school teacher or a high school teacher or a middle school teacher or a professor in a college. What is it, Taylor? Well, it is this, mug rugs. Now, we've all heard of mug rugs. They're like cute little placemats that you can knit, crochet, or weave for your coffee mug. They're small, they have fringe, they're adorable. 
I looked through a lot of mug rugs and there are lots of really great options. And if you know a little bit about the teacher, you can have fun finding one that fits with their personality. But what I like about these is that they are relatively general. They're neutral in style. There's nothing here. And actually you get some um, options with the texture. You have like an eyelet texture, a basket weave, and then like a really cool knit pearl kind of chevron design. So there's some options here. Uh, number one, it's a great way to bust your worsted weight stash or you can get some fun yarn that's new that you think they might like and create a little set of mug rugs for your kid's teacher. You might be thinking to yourself, maybe that's too kitschy. Maybe they don't, they don't want something like that. No, they do. They may not know that they do, but as soon as you gift it to them in some cute little gift wrapping handmade by and present it to them in a really sweet way, they will realize just how much they've needed something like this in their life. They drink coffee or something in the mornings, whether it's coffee or soda or tea or water, it doesn't matter. They have some beverage with them. I would be, you'd be hard pressed to go into a classroom in an elementary school or school in general, anywhere in the country, and not find a teacher that has some kind of comforting beverage in their classroom, right? Mug rugs. They're gonna love it. It's going to be easy to knit. You most likely have the yarn that you need for this. It's not overly big. It's not too tiny. It's not going to make the teacher feel awkward by how much work you put into something. It's going to be more endearing that you took the time to create this special gift for them. You know what I mean? You don't wanna present them with like an entire cable knit sweater. That can be awkward and uncomfortable. Something like this is a small way of saying you matter, I appreciate you, I want you to have something to rest your coffee mug on. It's sweet, it's thoughtful, and it's endearing. Now these particular mug rugs are by Lena Skvogerson. That S, K, and V are three letters that are very difficult to put together like that. Skvogerson? Lena Skvogerson. I love her mug rugs. It's a $1 pattern, it's super simple, worsted weight yarn, your kid's teacher's gonna love them. So my first idea for you are mug rugs. If you don't like these ones, go to Ravelry and type in mug rugs. You're going to find something cute. Okay, this next idea is very feminine and flowery, quite literally, but I'm providing it here because if your child's teacher prefer has like a feminine side, prefers flowers, likes that kind of thing, this may be something that you could do for them. I know that I would have loved to receive this. This is called Coffee Books and Roses. And what it is, is a little cozy for a to-go coffee mug and a really cute eye cord bookmark. Now, let me tell you what I'm visualizing in my head with this uh, coming from the perspective of a teacher. I'm imagining using the i -cord bookmark as a way to keep track of where you are in your read aloud book that you are reading to your class as a whole, if you're an elementary school teacher or a literature teacher or something like that. And then of course you have your coffee cozy for when some parent brings you a lovely to-go coffee and you slip it on there and you make it your own and it's just lovely. These are things, again, kind of like the mug rugs that we think to ourselves, really, like it's kind of kitschy. I'm telling you, it's sweet. The teacher will keep it on their desk for when the opportunity arises to slip it onto a to-go coffee mug and it's really special. And the bookmark will absolutely go to good use. Now, one thing I will say, if you notice that you, if you really like this idea, but perhaps your child's teacher is maybe a sports fan or maybe more masculine, not really into flowery things. I have to imagine that the little flowers that you see kind of added um, to the outside of that coffee mug cozy and to the top of that bookmark, swap it out for something more relevant. There's all kinds of patterns on Ravelry for little like knickknacks, footballs, heart shapes, I don't know, frog heads, who knows? And you could get creative with that. This is just an idea of something that you can do. So this is the Coffee Books and Roses. This is a pattern, pardon me, let me make sure I know exactly whose pattern this is. Alexandra Davidoff, this is her pattern. And it's fantastic. It's a $5 pattern. And I think that's because there's a lot of intricacies in here with the florals, but I think that this is really sweet. Okay, I hear you. You're asking me, well, okay, Taylor, what if I don't wanna give them a mug rug and a coffee cozy? Do you have anything better than that? Yes, I do. I have three really great suggestions that will either serve as the exact thing you can knit for your child's teacher, or give you, again, a jumping off point to find other things like this. The first one being the classic ribbed hat 
by Pearl Soho. This is a free pattern from the Pearl Soho website. It is knit using a DK weight yarn. And if you knit this, if they don't have a wool allergy in a really luxurious yarn, you can make it that much more special depending on how far you're trying to go with this particular gift. It's a nice way to add that element of luxury without trying to increase the actual size of the item. A beautiful ribbed hat like this in a lovely cashmere blend if you feel so inclined. What an amazing and luxurious gift to give your child's teacher. Now, I know the person who submitted this suggestion was really trying to find something outside of hats, but I'm going to tell you, no matter how tired the idea of gifting a non-knitter a hat may seem, Folks love hand knit hats. It doesn't get old and you have a new teacher every year for the most part. So if you knit the same hat you knit for the previous teacher in perhaps a different color or a different yarn, this teacher's not going to mind. In fact, they probably saw the previous year's teacher receive such a cool gift and were maybe a little envious of that themselves. So it's not an old idea. You can definitely shake up which pattern you knit, but don't balk at the idea of knitting your kid's teacher a hat. I'm telling you, it's really one of the tried and true gift ideas for your child's teacher. And this particular one here, because it's so neutral in all areas, obviously if you knit it in a flashy color, it's not neutral in color, but the, sh the style, the shape, just the overall vibe is very just neutral. Anybody would love this hat. So definitely the classic ribbed hat by Pearl Soho. Keep that in mind. I know it's a hat, but it's a perfect gift for anybody, including your kid's teacher. Okay, now we're trying to stay away from garments. You don't wanna knit your kid's teacher garments. I wouldn't really knit your kid's teacher a shawl. That's one of those things that non-knitters may not appreciate as much as we do. And you really kind of have to be um, sure about what they like. You don't wanna knit your kid's teacher socks unless of course you feel comfortable asking him what size feet they have. Lots of different things, right? So this next one I feel like is kind of a cool way to give them something hand knit cozy and maybe a little bit on the more unique side, but have it also be really functional and kind of neutral vibe wise. And that is a neck warmer. Now, when I was looking for neck warmers, you see a lot of things that are called cowls. This is actually referred to as a cowl. I wanted it to be very neutral. And so I went with this one. This is the Icky Guy cowl. And this is a design by Brienne Elise Miller. I love this. One of the things I love is that it's just a basic kind of stovepipe shape. There's not a lot of shaping happening here. The texture is pretty minimal. It has a really nice eyelet texture there and an interesting looking faux cable ribbing going on. But overall, it's pretty neutral. Nothing fancy, nothing lacy. It's just neutral and really very lovely. And it's also not going to be too stifling. The yarn that's used here is a DK weight yarn, so it's not an overly thick cowl. However, if you did want to beef it up and have it be something that you knit faster, you could change the weight of the yarn and you really don't have to worry too much about it since this is a cowl. It goes around the neck. It doesn't have to have a precise fit, so you can kind of have fun and adjust that, depending also on what you have in your stash and what's available to use to knit this particular cowl. I just really love this. I think it's very gender neutral. I think it's very classic. I really do think that anybody would love to have something like this, even if they wouldn't have considered something like this prior to receiving it. I would say there's an awful lot of folks that might not even consider something like a cowl. However, I know that my husband, if I knit him a cowl, something very neutral like this in a really nice color that I think he would like, he would wear it under his sweatshirts when it's particularly cold outside, especially if you have elementary school teachers who have recess duty and playground duty who have to bundle up when they go outside. Something like this that maybe even they just keep in their classroom would be very appreciated. So I'm really loving this. This is the Icky Guy Cowl by Brienne Elise Miller. Now, last but not least, and this has to be on all of my pattern rundown lists for these really quick gift knits. And so you're gonna have to pardon me while I do a little bit of a shameless plug here, but last and certainly not least are the Fire Pit Mitts by yours truly. Now this is a pattern I knit several years ago, but I am telling you it is a favorite of many and it is a favorite of mine. These mitts knit up so quickly, you could knit a pair for several teachers if you wanted to. And I promise you, even if you only knit one pair for one teacher, it will not be the last pair that you knit. They are addicting. Everybody wants a pair. They're a fabulous pattern. 
These, they have two different sizes within the pattern that I have for sale. You have a long version, which has a tapered arm. So that way it's not quite so snug on the upper part of the arm as it is uh, down towards the wrist. It's kind of adjusted to fit the shape of your arm. And then you have a shorter version as well. Oh my gosh, these are so well loved. I actually knit these even a little shorter than my shortest version um, in the pattern and I love them. They're just such a wearable, versatile, fingerless mitten. You can have fun with the yarn. It's a worsted weight pattern. It has three available sizes. You could get away with knitting them in a DK weight. You could get away with knitting them in a heavier Aran weight. They're really pretty simple to modify, and I absolutely love them. Super cozy, super wearable, just an all-around fun fingerless mitt, and it doesn't require a lot of yarn. In fact, I will weigh these for you because they're a fantastic stash buster and that way you can have an idea of how much yarn by weight this might take you. All right, we have for these little shorty um, fire pit mitts, 42 grams of yarn. And this is being knit with a fingering weight, no, 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 a DK weight and a mohair strand held together. So that is, again, 42 grams of yarn. And then these are the full length version. And these are being knit using Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool, which is a really lovely rustic worsted weight yarn, 82 grams. So these are a really great way to use up some of those odds and ends that you have in your stash. Another really great thing to do with this is to consider taking some fingering weight skeins of yarn that you've been wanting to stash bust, hold two strands together, which gives you a nice worsted weight and create a really lovely marled fire pit mitt. Really great option. So that is, uh, those are the fire pit mitts by yours truly. And I had to tack it on here at the end of this list of five items to knit for your kid's teacher that they're actually going to love. And in the case of those fire pit mitts, I promise you, if you knit your kid's teacher one thing this season, make it a pair of fire pit mitts and you will not go wrong. In fact, you'll probably receive requests from other teachers that happen to see the fire pit mitts you made for your child's teacher asking if you should happen to have any more lying around. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me ramble about items you can knit for your kid's teacher that they're actually going to love. I hope you found something here. And if any of these particular patterns don't take the boxes, search for similar items like this over on Ravelry and see if you find something that might be just right for you. Don't underestimate the power of a knit hat for your child's teacher. It might seem like an old idea and a tired idea, but I promise I promise you, it is still very much in high demand and a great idea for a gift for your child's teacher. If you took value from today's video or enjoyed yourself at all, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, definitely subscribe and click that bell icon so you can be notified anytime I upload new content here on the channel, which is every Wednesday and every Sunday. And don't forget to check out Patreon. It's a fantastic way to help support the work that goes into the Wool Needles Hands channel. And I appreciate you so much for your consideration. Until we meet again on Sunday's episode of the Knitting Podcast, happy knitting, happy making, happy whatever it is that you're doing. Take care, be well, and I will see you soon. Bye.